Okay, welcome. I'm now going to present to you our latest uh, restoration project. It is a PDP 1105 computer made by Digital Equipment Corporation. It was originally a control computer for a Charmil CNC system. Uh, when it arrived to us, it was in really good, bad shape. Uh, it was uh, it was missing its fans. Uh, the PSU was bad. One of the CPU boards was fault marked faulty. So what we have done is to restore it. So now it is working, and uh, right now, as you can see, it is running a test program, or well, it runs something. So you can see from the LEDs here. Uh, if you take a look inside the computer. You can see here to the left the small board is the bootstrap and console emulator board which contains the software for the boat and console emulator and then the three boards are the core memory boards and then two boards one of on of them on the extenders to be able to do measurements and the last one of the CPU boards in front of that one and you can also have a close look on the little bit of the faulty ship. That one is the one that is faulty. It's a prom ship that has suffered from bit rot, so several of the bits was faulty. We have also a couple of spare modules I'm going to show you here. So this is the CPU module again, and here we have the ALU units and here's a UART and the data path module and then here we have the control board which contains all of the microcode over here I also have some spare core memory boards here so this is the 8 kilowatts of core memory This board is the XY driver board. And finally, in the stack of core memory boards is the inhibit driver and sense amplifier board. Uh, with digital computers uh, like this one, digital equipment computers like this one, uh, very often came a set of schematics and other documentation. So this one is the schematics for this one. It covers, for example, the microcode, as you can see here. Here is the schematics for the data path board with the ALU units and the registers. And here is the parts of the control board. It's very useful when trying to repair these kind of machines. Another thing that's very useful in repairing is the computer manual, which describes pretty much everything inside here. You have installation, how the power supply works, how the core memory works, all the theory, Also details on how the microprogram is built. So for example, let's see here. And this is for example the fetch instruction flow of the microprogram. We have been using a tool here, PDP11 GUI, to download software into the machine through the console emulator and then uh, starting it from there so right now it is executing the uh, instruction test complete the instruction test it takes 30 seconds to complete all the instructions it looks like this one is executing
So now we have used uh, PDP11 GUI to download our memory diagnostic. Uh, let's see what's happened if we hit the start key here. As you can see, it runs right now, and let's start it there. So now it's running the diagnostic cycles through the memory. Uh, and if there is a problem, it will halt, like most diagnostics. Uh, if everything is okay, it will emit a bell signal on the console. Unfortunately, this console would not generate any tones for the bell signal, so we can't hear it. But we can at least say that this is passing, since it's cycling through the memory right now. Everything looks fine. So we are right now using PDP11 GUI to download another test, the T14 traps test. Uh, this test is a little bit peculiar. It was originally made for the PDP11 20 computer, uh, but we are now trying to run it on this 1105 computer. It has to be started at a certain address, depending on the memory in the machine. So this one is started at Two. Let's see what happens when we try to start this one. Have a look at the lights. So now it's running the console emulator and, and we hit return here. Let's see. Ah, and then it halts. A halt normally means that something is uh, problematic. It halts at address 7220. And let's see what that means. We put up the diagnostic listing on screen here. And we can now see that this is this instruction here that has failed. Or actually it's the one before because the instruction for halt is 7216. The problem is really the move instruction here. The move of the register R R0 to uh, and then using it as an address post incremented. The 1120 will actually store the incremented value rather than the, the non incremented value. So there is a difference between these two computers, and thus, uh, when running on this 1105, it will fail. So we have to comment that part out to get this diagnostic running in this machine. Uh, we're now downloading BASIC over. Uh, 2400 BPS line, so it takes a while using the excellent PDP Elva GUI tool. Uh, but uh, once upon a time, one used this kind of technology for, for storing programs. It was a paper tape, and then it was downloaded to the system at 10 characters per second. So we have stored this digitally into our modern Windows machine and now can download it easily. Maybe just a few seconds left to download and then we hit the start button for our program. Let's see how that works. Okay. The 
start address uh, for basic is 164. And then start basic options. Let's see. Yes, thank you. Uh, no, thank you. Memory ready. Now let's try to type something. have much of a editor. This is a program. Well, let's have a run at it. It actually does something. So with this 1975 technology, you can download basic interpreter and run short programs. Okay, this concludes this little demonstration. Thank you for watching and bye.